from Melbourne, Australia. I hope you're doing fine and uh, having a great time. Uh, can you a little bit back then? And uh, okay. tonight I'm going to have a conversation with uh, Dan Whitty, who was born in 1986 in England. In 2004, he migrated to Australia and studied a Bachelor of Visual Communication, specializing in illustration at the University of South Australia. Upon graduating in 2007 with the Designing Institute of Australia Students of the Year Award, Dan decided to transition into a career in visual arts. Since this time, he has had over 25 successful solo shows. His art also addressing the dilemmas of the modern day society, such as consumerism, the environment, and freedom, are still uh, embodied with a playful humor and uh, humbleness that make them completely unpretentious un uh, un uh, and accessible to all audiences. As Dan's work continues to develop in both fullness and uh, substance. Thank you very much for watching us, actually. Uh, it's a little bit technical uh, problem and it was supposed to go through my Instagram page today. And, but we're doing it through the Dan. And hi, Dan. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> we got there. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> So before we're gonna, uh, before I'm gonna have a conversation, like before I go, I'm gonna uh, bring up my questions. Would you like to those who are watching us now and maybe later on? Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to say hi to those who are watching us now? Oh yes. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just like, what's that? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn it up a tiny bit. I think. I'm going deaf. Yeah. There yeah. we go. All right. Could yes. You the volume down a little bit because I can't see this. Um, I have a story. There we go. Okay. I, my very first question to you is why did you uh, migrate from England to Australia and did um, that move affect our, your future, which is today? Yeah, well, I, I think basically, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's My dad decided that he fancied a bit of a change. Um, and kind of dragged us all along. Um, my, my, both my brothers really wanted to come to Australia, um, and I didn't really mind too much. So I kind of, I, I kind of just went along with what everybody else wanted. You see, so and and then I moved here, and it's actually it's it's actually quite nice. And I've kind of stayed here for probably, I don't know, f feels like forever, and no time at all at the same time. So I think I came over when I was like uh like 19 something like that so i'm 30,000 now so i don't know how 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 many years it's been it's been a, it's been a good few um but yeah i like adelaide it's good <laughs> yeah. and australia in general i visited adelaide once before and i really loved it i went to the botanical garden which is an amazing place actually to visit yeah it's it's, it's pretty <laughs> i like taking the kids there Yes, yes. People, uh, you can see the people question. I cannot see any any questions. So uh, you have to. But I've got my own question here. So um, if we get a chance, we go through the questions later on. I want to take you back to years ago when you were thinking who you wanted to be. Did you always want to become a painter or illustrator? You know what? I'm really interested to know uh, what happened in your life and what led you to be who you are today. Ah, there we go. Well, I think mostly 
Um, I think being dyslexic actually kind of played a big part um, in kind of shaping who I am, I suppose. Uh, but pretty much, for those who don't know what dyslexia is, it's kind of like not being able to kind of do uh, reading and writing as well as other people can, but otherwise you seem to be able to do everything quite normally for the most part. Um, but yeah, as a, as a child at school, I kind of, I was pretty rubbish <laughs> and people, people, I, I was on the verge of like that time where people kind of go, um, I, like he seems bright, but he's just not doing the work. So he might just be stupid or lazy, uh, which I wasn't, but I, I just couldn't seem to Me too. get, yeah, simple stuff. You know, but like everybody else could do, um, I I couldn't manage it for some reason. So basically, I, uh, you know, I was a bit of a tear away as well at school. So I I used to get into a lot of fights and stuff like that. And um, <laughs> I don't know though. That's the thing. Back back then, I was, like that was the way of solving my problems rather than talking. But um, luckily, I I got the help that I needed thanks to my mom. Um, and now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm doing something that I enjoy. Uh, I, I, I never would have thought there would actually be an artist or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I just thought I'd, I'd maybe go and join the army or something. I don't know. <laughs> pick up, pick up litter or I don't know, do something. I don't know. Like, uh, mind you, I've always, I always wanted to join the army as a little kid. Like I was, I was obsessed with it for some reason, but not so much now. Um, <laughs> I think it's actually the people shooting at you is kind of the big kind of thing that I'm like, that's okay. I don't think I want that. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, so I, I, I basically just went to school and managed to just scrape by and get the, the, the grades that I needed to kind of stumble into uh, a, a really terrible graphic design course um that like that was back in England and it was kind of like the course that you'd like what for instance one of my teachers you'd be like Dave can I borrow a camera and you'd you'd say yeah just one second and you'd see him run downstairs and jump into his car and drive away <laughs> so it was pretty yeah, it was a weird time, but I got the qualification that I needed again. And then once I came to Australia, I did an illustration course that was really great um, and taught me a lot and also kind of opened my eyes to kind of what was possible. But then once I finished uni, I was kind of like, I don't really know what I'm going to do now. Uh, so I just started making weird paintings and drawings and luckily people started to buy them. Um, you how know, and then I... how, sorry, I'm interrupting you. How did the connection happen? Uh, because when you were talking about that, you were really interested to um, join the army, and you know, from one extreme to another. Yeah. So I'm just wondering that actually the moments, or um, how did you con like? I want to find out more about the connection between who you were before you. Being a painting or be, became artist, and how could you make that connection? What happened? <laughs> well, I think um, as a person, I'm kind of like as I go through life, I kind of realise that I'm, I'm I have lots of contradictions in in what I actually do and what I say and what <laughs> you know. I'm all over the place. I mean, I I wanted to do that mostly for the I think. I think the army stuff was mostly because I enjoyed going to scouts and doing all that camaraderie type stuff with my mates and tearing around and causing a bit of trouble. But then, you know, it, uh, I don't know. I don't think my parents would have let me, to be honest. <laughs> you know, so and, and then I kind of grew out of it, you know. But um, And then, you know, there, there was a point in my life where I was pretty much like, uh, what am I actually good at? Um, and academically, there wasn't much, uh, you know, I, despite me trying really hard, um, I, I kind of realized that I could draw a bit and 
I was okay at skateboarding when I was a kid. So, uh, but at the same time, it's not really the best career choice, I don't think. So, well, I wasn't that good at skateboarding, but I wanted it. And those two aren't necessarily the same thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I kind of stumbled into art. Kind of was like, oh, I'll do a graphic design thing because I couldn't really think of anything else to do. And then kind of, I don't know, I kind of just fell into art, really. It's weird. Kind of claimed me, you know? Okay. That's how you found the connection between who you are and what you or what you wanted to do in the future, which is today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, to, to be honest, I, I, had, I, I didn't really have um, a clue, to be honest. I didn't really know what I wanted, or, and I kind of still don't half the time. It's, <laughs> you know, I just kind of, I really enjoy making stuff, I think. And, you know, my, my granddad was a, was a carpenter and, and his dad before him was a wood carver and I, you know, and my dad's a chef and my mom paints. So I think like there's, there's been a creative kind of side to my family, like that has somehow trickled into me, I suppose. So it's just something that I've always, there's, there's, always, I've always made stuff. Even when I was at school, I'd get in trouble for drawing all the time. Um, Funnily enough, because the lessons were really boring. Um, so <laughs> you'll never make a living out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Said that a lot, I think, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very understandable. So that's how you found the connection and you could like uh, kind of compromising yourself towards art. That's as far as I yeah. Okay. One of the okay, I've got lots of questions. We need to like just um, cut it, and you need to just to make to the point. <laughs> no, it's okay. hard. Uh, sorry, um, I have a tendency to waffle. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be, don't be. One of the points in your paintings is childish simplicity, and at the same time, a very deep thought. And in most of your paintings. Um, that's how I felt, and uh, that's how I feel each time I see your works. It's very noticeable that you're criticizing various issues. Yes. Issues and something about that. So tell me about that. I'm very interested to know. <laughs> well, I think, like most of my work, it, it's pretty much all about uh, me and things that I'm interested in, I suppose, and stuff that I notice about life, you know. So I'm very interested in history and um, philosophy and things like that and weird stuff that happens to you. So, But at the same time, I like to... Uh, like the, I like to stylize things and I think... And, and also, I like narrative elements in my paintings. So I like, I like to tell a story just with one picture, I suppose. So I think, yeah, I... Oh man, what was the question? <laughs> Sorry. All right, that's okay. Uh, actually, it's quite like you, you've been, or uh, you do criticize about different types of issues through your painting. You know ah, I mean? yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I like to kind of ask questions, but like I like to pick at things, but I don't actually have any answers. You know, it, it like most of us don't, to be honest. I mean, the even people who say they know what they're doing don't really know what they're doing, I don't think. You know, it's like uh, you just have to look at the people in Parliament. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scary. Um, <laughs> but basically, yeah, I mean, I, I just like picking away at things and also making fun of things as well. But also, I don't like to really kind of uh, preach at people about what they should or shouldn't um, what do you mean? think or enjoy. You know, I just kind of like to kind of... They're, they're most, most of my paintings are about asking myself questions, uh, you know, and me attempting to kind of figure out what it is that I actually believe or think, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm confused. The longer you're alive, the more confused you get. I think, yeah. um, you know, because I remember when I was a teen, I wasn't confused at all, you know. I was basically like, I, I like computer games and drinking beer, and that's about it. 
<laughs> you know, so and 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 life was fairly simple then. Whereas now I, I have kids. I I've, I've I have like a a job theoretically, and you know, I, I'm, I'm attempting to make sense of the world, and it's very strange. <laughs> Confusion sometimes is not too bad. Like being confused sometimes leads us the way that we can become kind of creative and create things that we don't know. Because I believe mm -hmm. creative comes um, not through the, uh, our subconscious mind, you know. Yes, intuitive and, stuff. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> so before I ask you to give us a tour. In, in, at your studio, I would like to find, yeah. but one of your paintings, um, which is called Mortified, am I right? Ah, oh, hang on, yeah, one blue. second. I'll see if I can find it. Here we go. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. How funny is that? I just had it lying around. There, there we go. go. Beautiful. <laughs> I, see, I, All right. I kind of, yeah. Okay. My question is, uh, is um, you use that sort of face shape in some of your works, but why did you choose the blue unhappy face as your profile picture? And what is the story? Uh -huh. <laughs> and what is the story behind? Yeah. Oh well, I kind of like. Uh, I think the the re I think the reason why I actually put it as my profile is just because this year has been a mess. I think um, in terms of every the first part of the year was everything was on fire and now everything is diseased. So <laughs> it's just it's just a crazy time. But it was it, like these miserable faces are kind of. I, I've done a few of these in the past, and they're they're mostly about. Um, I have a friend that. I'm not telling you who it is, but that no matter what you kind of ask them, they're always miserable. And I kind of find it really funny because he's lovely, but at the same time, you're going to go, how was your day? He was like, he'll tell you everything that was terrible rather than like, oh, I got one nice thing today, you know. So I think most of my pieces are kind of like either making fun of things or trying to put things possibly in a positive light, which is like my next show is all about staying positive, basically. Um, and I weirdly named it before I actually, before all this weird stuff happened. So it's quite odd, you know? So yeah, that that's kind of why I do these weird, sad faces. I don't know. I mean, okay. That's a way probably indirectly you want to convey your message probably. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, we are ready. So there is an option in your camera. You can click on it and reverse uh -huh. it. And give us a tour, please. Okay. Well, one second. Here we go. Oh, there we go. This this is one of my paintings. This is called the surprise. Can you can you just put it a little bit back? Let's yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sorry. Okay. No, that's absolutely fine. Okay, yeah, that... what surprise did you say? Well, but yeah, it's called the surprise, and it's kind of about how you go through life, and you know, you think you're totally fine, and then you wander through a door, and then suddenly, like, uh, like a bundle of garbage just lands on your heads, which is this grumpy guy right here, and then. Even when, and then once you experience that, you kind of it leaves you with that kind of feeling of. You're always worried whether the, whether it's going to happen again. So you kind of like this guy's like peeking through, like being cautious. So I think I think that's kind of like life in general. Can but yeah, I mean, my studio is a bit of a mess. I get, Sorry. Can you closer. I want to have it in the frame. In the like, closer. Okay. There you go. I'll try and move it out of the glare. Here we go. There we go. So it's not actually glary. Yeah. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good. Sorry, I shall move this as well out the way. No, no, that's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Okay, you can move now. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And then, 
I think I'm kind of doing like big flowers at the moment because I'm kind of like when when I'm feeling a bit sad or whatever, I kind of I like painting flowers and smiley faces, weirdly enough. So that's kind of like the thing I'm uh, kind kind of working on towards the next show. You know, so I'll stand back a bit, but sorry about my studio being an absolute mess. But and it's actually quite small as well, so it's kind of it's very compact. You know, that's so it. yeah, so that that's the one wall. <laughs> Can you put the camera? You need to step back. You need to step back and let's see what you painted. You need to okay. A little bit and put the camera up a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a bit of a work in progress at the moment. So I kind of, uh, you, you know, you usually get kind of like uh, what they call um, still lives of flowers and things like that, and they're usually in tiny little, like small paintings. So I thought it'd be kind of like funny to just do some really big ones, you know. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with this one. I think it's got nice colours. I think. And then I think what well, what else? Here we go. Wow. Sorry. I've got to basically avoid tripping over all the random like garbage on the floor. So it's like <laughs> no it's like stuff everywhere. I've managed to kind of move a bit of stuff out of the way, but um just just for you. <laughs> um oh, this guy up here. Um this one this one's called the studio and it was kind of like um when I first had my two children when they were born, um, Oscar and Ava. I like uh, it. Yeah, I, I spent like, it was 50%, 50% for like child rearing responsibilities. So I was kind of, I was at home a lot. And then basically, like, I, I didn't get much creative time, if you know what I mean. So the time that I did get was actually kind of like this rainbow here that 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 was the bit where i was like you need to work in this little section here yeah. and get everything done in the tiny amount of time you have <laughs> you know so yeah i really like that one I, that, it's one of the few paintings that i've actually kind of um kept for myself if you know what i mean because usually someone comes along and they go i'd like to buy this painting and you go yeah sure and i do that with everything for the most part but like um but basically, um, that one, yeah, I, th I thought I'd keep that one for myself. <laughs> and then that that is very meaningful. And what's the one next to it? Oh, this guy. Yeah. Um, that's well, basically, good. that that's um. Sorry. Better. Yeah. Okay. Well, that one's kind of like uh, oh no, it's from like two thousand and nine, so absolutely ages ago. Um, and, and this is kind of like the type of painting that I used to do, uh, a long time ago. And, and also I've, ke I've actually kept this one myself as well. Um, mostly because, you, you know, as you go through things and you learn, uh, I kind of like, you can see that the paint on here has gone all weird on the face. Like, and that's a little bit up and coming a little bit back. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And and basically, that's because I used a yogurt pot that wasn't quite clean. So don't do that, young painters of today. Uh, <laughs> it messes up your paint. <laughs> don't do that anymore. So you live and you learn anyway. But um, pretty much these are some of my new pieces that I'm kind of working on. That's very nice. Put the camera up. Up a bit. There we go. So I'm kind of working on some. I'm attempting to be okay. more that... simplified with what I'm doing. You know what I mean? A attempting to kind of like with these guys on the bottom. I'm attempting to kind of like. I have a tendency not to stop uh, when I'm painting. I just need to fill every single space rather than picking the the areas that should have bits in and leaving the rest alone. You know, so I'm I'm attempting to do that now with these guys, you know, and I think. <laughs> Is that a hand? Am I right? It's like. Yeah, yeah, they're my hands, basically. Um, 
Yeah, I could, I'll, I'll move them a bit closer, but okay, but yeah, yeah I, they're kind of like I I don't know. I I think I was trying to represent with these the you know the life force maybe or like creative energy or something. I'm not sure. Well, it's um, very, I love the com a com a combination of the colors you've used. Mm. Well, that's it. I I think. I'm quite good with colors, funnily enough. I think that's one of my um, things that I'm pretty good at, thankfully. It's good to have a few things that you're okay at, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, like understanding of color for some reason, I, I like doing that. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm kind of – I'm attempting to kind of move away from the figurative, I think, at the moment. So I'm kind of – like these are all my um, weird paintings that I'm doing at the moment that are, I'm attempting to kind of – do more abstract work mm. you see so it's so less um le less stuff that's kind of like re obviously what it is you know so you know like this is a flower this is that this is kind of like i don't know what it is <laughs> you know you, you don't have any like templates you don't have any idea you've got the concept basically and then mm. and the um and you you and you start paint, when you start painting the things happen at the same time like you don't have any plan to what to draw or paint am i right well well basically with with my work i kind of um, there, there's a bit of in, like intuitive stuff there, but also I kind of I do a lot of journaling, which is like I'll I'll get a journal out. Which what, is before you go there. Is, we'll be, okay. you, before we which go is there. Pretty, oh, I, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Before you go there, there is a lovely paint actually next next to it. Uh, yes. What is this, this guy? Yes. Yeah. I'll try to move back, but it's very cramped in here. Here we go. That's okay. Yeah. And I'll move the chair. That's okay. What, what's that? And I have a question well, about that. Yeah, go on. Okay. Well, that one was going to be for an art prize that I have no idea if it's still going ahead uh, due to, like, the COVID thing. But um, it was about... The back. Can you see the back? Um, hang on. I'll try and move back a bit further. Sorry, it's just, like, really cramped in here. <laughs> But it was basically about building a um, a sustainable machine, I suppose. So it's kind of like an infinity symbol. So it will go on forever, but it's it's under construction at the moment. So it's got like a, a bendy bit down here that still needs to be fitted in, but it's also kind of like an infinity symbol. So that that's kind of what I was hoping for. But Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've got, sorry. Go on. Yes. Yeah. So I, it's it's difficult because I'm I'm kind of like I'm not really sure what half of the stuff means sometimes. So at the moment, this is this is some of my most intuitive work really that I've I've really been doing. You know, because um, usually I, I agonize over how something's going to look and what shape it's going to take. Um, and I with this new stuff, I've been trying to really it just be like I'm just gonna make it and see how it turns out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know what? If you if you if you stay here, one of the elements because that's very relevant to this painting. So to this paint, um, uh, I I I've, I've gone to, I've been through your profile all the time, you know, and because I wanted to get to know uh, a better picture of. The concepts that um, which has been used to your painting. So, um, one of the elements that you use in lots of your work is like um, snake mood or kind of like form pie. That's that's something like that. And in my yeah. opinion, it's even more important than it are uh, topics for you. Like. The way you're doing it, the way that you're drawing, that's what that's a very good example. Yeah. And you've been using that kind of shape, like I don't know what's called because I, I couldn't find any words. Like um 
Well, it's an in, it's an infinity symbol. You see. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to get right. up. <laughs> but basically, yeah, it's an infinity symbol. So it's kind of like the, you know, that old symbol of the snake eating its tail. Yeah. You know. Hmm. Tell me how this sort of element forms in your mind at the beginning or before you start doing it. Well, I I, I think that basically it's like. I don't know. When I'm thinking about the infinity symbol, is it, it, it's kind of like that weird contradiction in my brain, as you, you can't quite come to terms with the fact that you're going to die. I suppose so. It's kind of like it, it's a bit of it's a bit of coming to terms with mortality, you know. So nothing lasts forever, but everything does last forever at the same time. So it's do you know what I mean? <coughs> Or, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you the camera towards um, that that snaky uh, one. Oh, and, this guy? Yes. All right. Yeah. Because I found that actually it's a very common method or it's a very common uh, theme that you've been using in lots of your uh, paintings. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of use them to... I, I, I like symbols and I kind of mix them up depending on what painting I'm using, like the meaning changes from painting to painting, you see. So it's kind of like, I, I think in this one, the infinity symbol is supposed to be like, you know, a sustainable machine or, you know, make, doing things sustainably is actually hoping to make things so that they go on forever, I suppose. And, I and, and like, you know, like so we can coexist with the planet without destroying it. Right. Um, so, so that that's kind of what I was going for with this symbol. But I kind of I was going to paint more on it, but like I I kind of realized that there's there's a point where you just have to stop, and I um and and that's kind of what I've done, I suppose. I mean, like this weird little character down here. This was like this guy. It kind of that that was drawn on there by my daughter. And I kind of painted it in because I kind of really liked it. But I think it's kind of, I, I think it's kind of representative of coronavirus, maybe. Um, you know, it's that, like the the spanner in the works, I suppose. Okay. You know that okay. that thing, things that get in the way. You know, I think. But yeah, well, I, I don't want to make you tired. So whenever you're ready, you can go back and sit and let's uh, have more. Uh, what is this one? Ah, oh, this is um, old man contemplating. So it's kind of like about how important it is to, you know, just do nothing and dream, you know, because, I mean, in, a, in our modern times, we don't really get much of a chance to just sit back and just think, wow. if you know what I mean, and daydream. Like, it's actually kind of like a really valuable thing for everybody. I mean, all inventions were kind of, created by someone just sitting around and thinking about stuff you know so that's kind of like about i love that a, about that you see <laughs> i can't see it I mean... oh, <laughs> very creative i like the shadows actually it's... wow no thank you yeah well done okay thanks mate i mean i've, I've got like i think maybe i think there's like one more i'll show you um that like that means something to me anyway um like this this guy the spade it's not it's not very well kind of like shown here but hang on i'll put it in a better position there we go you see there we go so so here's more about there we go there we go trying to move back there we go Put so, it up. Camera up. Okay. Yes. There we go. So it's this one's kind of about it's about relationships and you know how sometimes you have an argument with someone that you're a friend with or a brother or something like that and the relationship's broken and then you repair it but it's never quite the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the the spade it, it, it's still functional but like it's not really back to the way it was. Right. You know. 
Yeah, so it's it's about that, I suppose. I mean, that's that's kind of this this is one of the few pieces I kind of keep to myself as well. I think kind of hide it in the studio where no one sees it, and then buys it. <laughs> that's very interesting. Mm. The shovel. What is that? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a spade. I found in like uh, ag like a uh, ag camera up a little bit. There we go. I'll move in a bit as well. Wow. Yeah, I kind of enjoy it. You know. Wow. I mean, I can get get closer to the eyes and stuff, so it's. Wow. Yeah, kind of trippy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you. You yeah you showed it close up. That's fantastic. Mm. Thank you. Let me. Wow, that's very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, sorry, this is kind of like the view I always get. It, this one's um, this one's called first impressions, <laughs> and you know it's kind of like about that idea of you know, um. Uh, you know, judging a book by its cover, I suppose, you know, some people who are not so pretty are actually really nice on the inside mm -hmm. and then the opposite for other people, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like to kind of just weirdly think about li little kind of, I don't know, like one liners, but in a painting sense, you know, um, I mean, there's there's not there's a couple more pieces, but, you know. And also my piles of boxes that I threw out just ju just for this interview. <laughs> thank you. That's pretty sweet of you. No, thank you. And now you go back on the chair and I don't want to make you tired. So I, <laughs> That's okay. Well, thank you for having me. That's right. And I want to keep asking you. So I, I still have got my questions. So uh, if you go back to where you were sitting so we can continue. Okay. No, no, that's cool. No problem. Okay. Uh, I really appreciate that. All right, and I'll flip it then. Perfect. I read Hello. Well done, and I love what you're doing. And can you sit back a little bit? And okay, see. sorry. Okay. So, um, all right. So, um, how much? Because, you know, I've noticed that you've been working on different projects and let me ask you are you one of those artists that we can uh, work on the different projects at the same time or no you prefer to get it get like this one down and then move on something else uh, I, th I think I'm, I'm one of those people who just works on 50 different things at once I'm, I'm kind of I drive my poor girlfriend mental I think just because I'm always doing stuff you know um, but it's all art related, so it's kind of like I, I forget to do all the other stuff that I'm supposed to do because I'm kind of off, kind of dreaming, I suppose, uh, which is not always the best way to be. Um, but yeah, that's that's yeah. I'm usually doing lots of different things at once because I get bored. Well, that's like, that skill you have. I don't mm. translate, so but I'm that's that's very good. So the reason that um. And, you know, your work has got different themes. So how much of the environment in which you live, um, you love plays a role in creating your work? Hmm. I, th I think it's mostly with, with, with the world and g generally it's either weird politics, the world, or strange documentaries I've watched, or stuff that's happened to me, you know, and they always they always kind of go into like these guys. So I always kind of like do lots of like drawings. So so I mean, I that was a woman at the child at the kids play calf. You see, I haven't made this painting, but you know, like for instance, um, you know, and. Um, I generally just draw all the time, but most of the time they, this stuff doesn't actually make it into into the paintings. You know, it's just like just keep drawing all the time. And then I, whenever I, I need to kind of come up with an idea for work, I kind of just trawl through all my journals and, right. and then pick bits 
and then create something from that. But I'm trying to just be more intuitive now, which is quite difficult. <laughs> but but you know. it can be quite like effect on what you're doing, what you're creating. Am I right? The environment that you're living in. Hmm. Yeah, basically. I mean, um, because you know what? Let me explain more. So, uh, some artists do like the environment they're working in. Doesn't matter where. It's no matter where they live, but what they got in their mind, they go with that. But some people yeah. cannot rely, like rely on what's going on in their minds and. Mm. Environment or the atmosphere they're, they're they're living in actually can have quite um, like effect on what what they want to create. Yeah, I I think that basically I'm a bit of the two. I think so. You know, I I definitely need my like my space away from home um, to to work in just so I can because I can focus like on something that I'm interested in for a very long time, but. If I'm not interested in it, I, I yeah. straight out of here. But um, but yeah, I I think it's kind of a, a, a mixture of the two. So part of it is very planned and considered, and then other parts of my work is it, is I make it up as I kind of as I'm doing it. Yes. You know, so mostly I have kind of a vague idea of what I want to do, and okay. then I start doing it, and then I take bits off and add bits and hopefully a painting kind of arrives at some point if you know what i mean right uh, <laughs> like yeah so that i'm a bit of the both i think okay. okay thank you so very much for your time and i'm glad we eventually made it so i have no more questions so do you want to say the things that probably i didn't ask you do you have anything to say oh I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit difficult, isn't it? It's like, oh yeah, you know uh, that local sports team. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> not really into sport. I mean, I've uh, yeah, I've. I don't know. There's not much for me to say. I just waffle. Really, I just enjoy painting. Right, that's absolutely fine. Did you like our conversation? Of course, mate. Yeah, it was lovely. <laughs> and, okay. and when I when I come to Melbourne anyway later on in the year, I'll have to catch up with you for a coffee or something. Of course, of course. In, in November at some point, you know, should be good. Dan, it was lovely talking to you. I really appreciate it for your time. So, no uh, problem. So, uh, there is an option after you end the live, you can um, just delete the video because I'm recording the different device and then okay. I'm just saving it. It was so lovely talking to you and I'm so um, so impressed with what you're doing and I'm glad we I got a chance to have a conversation and enjoy of your tour. <laughs> Thanks mate. It was it was mutual. <laughs> Cheers mate. Have a good one anyway. And you thanks for people who are watching. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Okay. See ya. Bye, everyone. If you are interested to find out more about Dan, you should go to his profile on Instagram and figure it out actually who I'm going to have a conversation with. Thank you. Be well. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I'm like...